Our vegetables is doing very well, especially there. It's like a, a mini forest. Hi everyone, welcome again to our garden. It's been exactly nine weeks now since we started the journey of uh, growing vegetables and flowers in our garden. And today we'd like to give you an update on how everything is doing since we started this adventure. So let me show you. So let's start over here. I mean, look at that growth. Look at that. The potatoes are growing and growing and covering everything on their way. Look at that. Down there we have beets that we can barely see. Here is kale. This is our kale right here. We have to be, we have to harvest that pretty soon. And we do have a couple of onions down here as well. This is doing amazing. I'm just so happy with all of that. Um, I'll be harvesting that kale pretty soon. I do hope that the beets still reach um, a reasonable uh, size, even though they have very, very little sunlight down there. Um, over here, we've just put this bucket in this container with the corn. Uh, I think it's, it's doing well so far, so I hope to, I hope we'll be, we'll be seeing more of that. Over here we have the cauliflower and uh, the kohlrabi. So the cauliflower is also doing pretty well. Uh, it has already closed the leaves that are going to be producing the, the vegetable itself. I think we have one that has already... Oh, there you go. You see down there? Look at that. That's a cauliflower in the making. Isn't that beautiful? And we have more to show, not quite yet, but uh, it's coming along pretty nicely and we're just so happy with all of that. The kohlrabi on the other hand is, is doing fantastic. It's actually ready for picking. And I believe down here is the radish. And it's, it's completely exploding with growth. Look at that. I'll be taking one out just to show you. Isn't that beautiful? So here, so this is our very, very slow spinach bed. It's just a couple that have come up, but they're, they're a good snack. And I like coming out here and just picking some spinach and washing it and eating it straight. <laughs> now to our broccoli bed. I mean, look at this, look at that. This is just so beautiful to see. Uh, it's, it's such a shame that we don't have any, any sun right now, but um, I hope you can see all of this perfectly. All the broccolis are now uh, have taken shape and they're beginning to become really, really nice vegetables so we're looking forward to harvesting all of our broccolis starting with this one which is going to be ready pretty soon now let's see how the carrots are doing under those large broccoli leaves look at that those are our carrots and here is that bed with the um, beets and uh, celery that got attacked by the snails I think they're, they're looking much, much better already two weeks after the attack of the snails. They're looking pretty good and I think uh, in the weeks ahead they'll, they'll, they'll do even better. I did add some cabbage here, four pieces. The birds have been snacking on that a lot, which is why you, you see that some of them are doing uh, better than others. And over here is our slower potato bed. Now, this was slow at the beginning, but look at it right now. Look at how, how well it's doing. We have the, the kale, the green kale over here, which is also doing amazing. And some onions between the, the potatoes. But this too is just looking awesome. And now, let's check out our 
grow bag look at that the potatoes in this grow bag are also doing amazing and do we have any potatoes to see yet i think it's too early but let's take a look healthy roots but uh, no potatoes yet okay let's close that back awesome <laughs> let's check again in two weeks time and this is our mango uh, this place can be really sunny uh, on a good day which is why you see one of those leaves yellowing because of the excess sun on this side of the garden um, here we have the peppers which are recovering after after such a tough April and, and, and May here in Switzerland but uh, they seem to, to be doing just fine right now they are beginning to form new side branches and I'm, uh, I think they will do okay so those are the peppers here we do have some beans some bush beans down there and we have a couple of leeks actually a lot of leeks that is hidden underneath those large mango leaves and back here we have the, the peas which is also doing pretty well we do have a couple of pots already that we could no we couldn't pick them yet but they are in there I don't know if you can see the flowers like here and do we have any that I could show so that was it for the vegetable garden here in the front yard let's now go and check on the on the tomatoes the strawberries the pumpkins and all the squatches so we're out here in the backyard where we have the elephant with the strawberries and the bells ringing here we have the strawberries and today one of my boys came out here and picked a handful of strawberries look at that we do have more ready for picking some are small but uh, it tastes just uh, delicious and here are our pumpkins they're doing amazing as well and over here on this side we are putting together a container garden and uh, look at all the things we have going on we still have beans and pumpkin that needs to be planted but here we already have a few in containers that are well established just like this Tsuketi Tsuketi girl Courgette jaune and that's just the yellow Tsuketi and you can see some tiny little bits beginning to take shape here looking beautiful we have the cornichon over here also looking good and here is our container with the beans we have more beans here coming up beans more uh, this is this is the cornichon and here is the green tuketi more beans and now let's check out the tomatoes in our little greenhouse look at that here is where we have our tomatoes and I think right now the tomatoes are completely outperforming every other vegetable in this garden look at that look at that growth looking beautiful so happy with all of that look at those stems just so solid Look at that one, just looking incredibly strong. We do have some side, side branches, but we also have a bunch of flowers, meaning that we're going to be seeing tomatoes pretty soon. Beautiful. So happy with how everything is doing. It has started raining here. I don't know if you can see the skies all gray and dark so thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in our next video
broccoli is about to grow. It's light green, but the other one was darker. But the thing is that it's not soft, but it looks hey, soft. Hey guys, I found this. And that, this is a radish. Radishes are very healthy. They belong to the vegetables. But first, you have to wash them when you get them out. Okay, now, and can everything I take out, you hold it. Can there's we have a lot of fat radishes. They're really fat, you see. And what else? So when the video was over, please, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any vides from Jamin Swiss Garden. And cut.